Well, welcome fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here coming today from St. Ignace, Michigan. And I'm out in front of the mystery spot. We're going to go up here and check this out. I've been wanting to do this for a while. There it is, the sign. The mystery spot. It says this is one of those weird things where the ground is like off even and stuff like that. So we're going to check this out. So travel with me, will you? The sign says the story of the mystery spot in the early 1950s. Three survivors named Clarence, Fred, and Mark Gray came from California to explore the Upper Peninsula and stumbled across the area of the land where the surveying equipment didn't seem to work properly. For instance, no matter how many times they tried to level their tripod through the use of a plumb bob, or level of plumb bob would always be drawn far to the east even if the level was reading level as they continued their research of the land they noticed the consent feeling of being lightheaded later realizing that their goodness and problems with the serving equipment and occurred in an area about the hundred feet in diameter they felt they had discovered a mystery spot. We hope that you enjoy your visit. Here we are inside the gift shop where you buy your tickets and all that. And this is a tour and all kinds of normal stuff. See, there's some rocks. You get some pretty rocks there. And a bunch of different, you know, normal little knickknacks and stuff. You can get in here. Posters, three ninety-five. Shirts. They can say you've been to the mystery spot. Is it seventeen ninety-five? That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Is there a little bunch of stuff there? Look at that. Um, the uh, what we call tie-dye one. That's cool. And other things you can do here. There's like a Fort Maze over there. You got Mini Mackinac Bridge Mini Golf. You got even got a Mini Mackinac Bridge over there. To play Mini Golf over. And they got a zip line, I guess, now too. I guess that's new to this year. Alright, let me get my ticket and then we'll go in and check out the mystery spot. Oh, so we got our smash pennies. Look at And I want to get the mystery spot I could say a one that is cool there you go get it lined up the mystery spot yeah. And I got my mystery spot, press penny. Here we are, here's the prices for the mystery spot. Ages 5 to 11, 7 dollars. Ages 12 to two adults and one under 11. We want to do the And the mystery spot maze is ages 5 to 11, 10 dollars. Ages 12 to 11, 12 dollars. Now, because of the COVID thing, they're only going to allow 10 people at a time to go through the tour. Well, famous mystery spot, my name is Kevin. I'll be your guys' tour guide today. Usually, I start my tours off with a brief history of the area, so I'll do the same thing for this one. The mystery spot was discovered in 1953 by three Californian land surveyors. They were exploring the Upper Peninsula when they discovered that bit of land right there behind you guys. When they started working on it, they realized that none of their equipment seemed to work properly here, and they never really felt the best while they were working. Now, they also discovered that there's actually a bit of a boundary line where all of that happens within, and it all starts on that path right there. It follows that path all the way up through that building, comes up that way through the trees where that building ends, follows that path all the way back around, coming down through here, splitting these two blocks, leaving this one right here that I'm standing on on the outside of the mystery spot, and this one right here on the inside of the mystery spot. One thing I'd like everybody to know about these two blocks is that they are level separate and together. We'll start with the block on the inside of the mystery spot. This bubble right here should be in between these two black lines, and it will be when I place this down, just like this. Just in case anybody here can't see it too well or you just don't trust me, go ahead and take a better look at it from the sides to make sure it's level. 
Said, I need two volunteers that are about the same height. All I need to do is stand up on these blocks with their heels to the back of them, like I'm doing right now, facing each other. Go right ahead. We're supposed to face each other? Yep. Who do we all think seems to be a bit taller here? Um. You, think this, you think he's a blue shirt? Blue shirt. Yeah. Blue shirt. Blue shirt is taller. Okay. You guys can switch blocks now. Shoot me up in here. Oh, wow. wow, look at these see cars. Here? Right. I, I, I see I, eye to eye. <laughs> so it looks like they're the same height now? Yeah, so did you grow then? I think he did because I'm looking at his mouth instead of I've had weird. a lot of growth spurts look in my life, but this is the quickest. So, that one, so you did grow then, right? <laughs> Alright. Maybe that's not happening. Maybe you shrunk, sir. Do you think that could happen? I'm getting an osteoporosis. Alright. Sorry. He's, <laughs> he's old. That is actually what happened. When you step over that boundary line inside of the mystery spot, you do appear to shrink a little bit. And I was going to ask you guys to switch spots one last time. You already did it for me. Now, this last switch here is done for two reasons. The first one is to show everybody that height change one last time. So now he's back to being taller, right? I feel better, right? And that second reason is for safety reasons. We don't want either of these two to go home any taller or shorter than when they can do today. So with that being said, they're set back to the normal heights. Everybody can follow me along that path and you're building now. There we go, we're going up in into the mystery spot. Oh look at this. The incline. Holy cow. Oh look at this. Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> Definitely off balance. Is that everybody? That's <laughs> right. no. How are we all feeling in this room? Pretty weird? Yeah. Weird, yeah. I'm sure we're all familiar with Isaac Newton's law of gravity. What goes up should always come right back down, right? Right. Alright. Well, here inside the mystery spot, what goes down? actually likes to make its way right back up, as you guys can see right Holy there. Holy cow, look at that. I could even take this ball here, place it in the middle of that ramp. It's still going to roll up to the top, as you guys can see. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. There's probably some magnets inside of that ball there making it roll up the ramp. Or somebody back inside of the gift shop has a string attached to it, and they're just pulling on it with that. Well, that's actually not the case. But I can show you guys the same demonstration, this time with a cup of water instead. I'll take this water here, pour it at the bottom of the ramp while everybody's watching, and it's still going to flow right back up and into the bucket. Now the wow. reason why that happens is due to the gravitational pull here inside of the mystery spot. Instead of pulling everything straight to the center of the earth like it would anywhere else, it has a slight pull to the east. With that being said, I need one volunteer to stand on that top step for me and face me. Go ahead. <coughs> yep. Alright, are you standing up straight? Does he look like he is? No. no. Do you feel like you're going to fall forwards or backwards? Yeah, forwards. Which way does he look like he should fall? Back. Yeah, probably backwards. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Wow, that's yeah. cool. I need one more volunteer to go up there and show him what he looked like when he was standing there. really hard to walk straight All right. Are you standing up straight? Yeah. So what does he look like it? No. <laughs> well, which way do you feel like you're going to fall? I think forward. That forward is so also. weird. Alright, so that is how we're going to be standing for the rest of the tour, so just be careful in these next few rooms here. You guys can all head on into that next room now. If I can have all the adults stand along the back wall with the handrail, all the kids sit down in front of the adults on the yellow tape. And if there's not enough room for all the adults on that handrail, some of you guys can stand along the walls inside of there and in the doorways as well. You guys can head on in there now. I'll be in there in just a second. I'm trying to walk around here. You feel like you're drunk. I'm not kidding. You feel like you're drunk in here. <laughs> I'm going up into the uh, cabin. Oh, look at this. This is just, Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm Michael Jackson. You're over. You're over. Over here. I can find the best like Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 Maybe Jackson. 
Okay. 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 in this room we're going to be using that table over there. I'm sure we can all agree it's about two feet off the ground, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So you guys think then that it probably should take at least a little bit of effort then to take a step up onto that? Probably, right? Yeah, I, I just need one volunteer who hasn't done anything there yet. I need them to do is just step right up there for me. Was that easy or hard to get up there? That was pretty easy. Okay, can you stay on the edge there, face over there for me? Right up to the edge. No. He's like leaning forward. Does he look like he is? No. No. Do you feel like you're going to fall forwards or backwards? Forward. Or no, backward. Back. Backwards? Does it look like he should fall backwards? Yeah, no, he's gonna fall forward. Yeah, definitely not. Even though it does not look like it, most of our volunteers do agree with him, saying they put the fall backwards instead of forwards. As you guys can see, there is even a mark on the wall where some people have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, sir. Does anybody else want to take a step up there? Sure. Yeah. Can I get somebody else who hasn't done anything yet? All right, we'll go ahead and do this. It's going to be good. You want to go? Pretty easy getting yeah, up there? Yeah, like incredibly easy. Alright, do you feel like you're going to fall forwards or backwards? Um, definitely backwards. Backwards also? Alright. <laughs> for the next demonstration, I'm going to need one of the taller volunteers in here to come down here and sit in this chair so for me. Well, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Alright. All we're going to do here is play a bit of a game. All you got to try and do is get out of the chair, but just like with any game, there's always some rules that come with it. All right, your feet cannot brace against the bottom of the chair down there, or wrap around the sides of the chair either, and your hands have to stay in your lap or in the air, not touching the chair. With that being said, everybody cheer them on. Go ahead, try and get out of the chair. percent that do though so for anybody else in here who's tall enough to give it a shot go ahead <laughs> Gavin you're never gonna make it back out <laughs> you have to leave him here you have to leave here <laughs> all right no, everybody cheer them on go ahead Kansas, if you could probably just walk on you guys can cheer better than that right come on Let's get a round of applause. Look at that, everybody. Head on into that next.
next room now. If you guys could all line up just like you guys did in here in that next room, that'd be fantastic. I'll be in there. Mystery right. spot. Hopefully everybody was paying attention in the beginning of the tour when I was talking about those three land surveyors and how all of their equipment did not work properly in here, right? All right. This is one of their pieces of equipment called a plumb bob. All it's supposed to do is swing evenly back and forth. So when I swing this back and forth, I want you guys to tell me if it's swinging evenly, okay? All right, here we go. Look like that's swinging evenly back oh, no. and forth, everybody? Yeah. Definitely no. not swinging more that way, right? Yeah. All right. Like I told you guys in that first room, the gravity inside of the mystery spot has a slight pull to the east, which is why you guys are going to see that. I'll swing more that way. If anybody in here has a purse with a strap on it, anything like that, go ahead, pull it out in front of you just like this. It's also going to swing a little bit to the east. As you guys can see with those purses right there, they both look like they're leaning a little bit, right? Yeah. Now just in case you guys haven't noticed, that's also the direction of the gift shop, the money inside of those bags there. It seems to be gravitating towards the gift shop. Alright, for the next demonstration, we'll be standing on a 45 degree angle, as you guys can see right now. If I were standing on this outside of the mystery spot, I would have fallen over by now. But we're on the inside of the mystery spot, so it's not going to happen today. Anybody, let it go down there. Try that out. It is said to be the most comfortable spot to stand inside the mystery spot. Anybody who hasn't tried anything yet. Pretty comfortable? Yeah. Do you feel like you're going to fall? No. You sure? Yeah. So do you feel like you're standing normally then? Besides my feet, yeah. Does he look like he's standing normally? No. Probably not. Let's give him a big round of applause. Can I get one more volunteer to try that out? My dad will. Go right ahead, sir. We are in a lot of pain right now, but I can assure you guys they are not. I feel perfectly fine standing up here. If anybody would like to come up here and try standing on the walls for a bit, you do have to have closed toed shoes on, or else it probably will hurt your feet. This one? Those are closed toed shoes. You can go right ahead. Where? This Mine count? Probably yep. work. What? Okay. Oh, hey. Does that it's hurt your feet? Yeah, okay. that's pretty feeling good. Comfortable, eh? Pretty comfortable? Do you feel like you're going to fall? Uh, a little bit, but. Which way? Probably backwards. Can you stick your arms up like this for me? Now we got a ballerina on the wall. Alright, how about you? Does that hurt your feet? Not too much. Not too much? Do you feel like you're going to fall? Yeah, backwards. Backwards? Okay. Do you like it better up there or down there? Down there. <laughs> Alright, do you want to keep your arms like this for me? I don't want to be in no? the room. No? Alright. I couldn't get to it. Well, I don't want to be You guys can all head on into that next room now. If I could have everybody... We're going to walk up this. Oh, I got to get out of this guy's way. <laughs> Ask us to walk up this plank. See, this is age we yeah, we're pretty easy going up. Now, turn around and go back the other way. Yeah. A little bit more difficult. Let me get an example of the way the floor looks. You can see it's on an angle. I'm going to show them how I have a tripod. Isn't that weird? I don't get that level thing. There we go. See it better there. He's sanitizing everything. Look at that. It's like weird. The shape of that. I imagine the person that built this. It had to have been interesting. All right, which way do we all think felt easier to walk, up or down? Up. Up. Going up, all right. About 80% of all of our visitors do say going up felt easier than going down. 10% say going down felt easier than going up. Then the last 10% say it felt pretty much level to them, as you guys can see right there. That last 10% that said it felt level would be correct. This is, in fact, a level board, as you guys can see right there. Just in case anybody in here is skeptical of that level and thinks that it might be rigged, I also have a ball here. Now this ball will roll on the ground. It's a normal ball. But when I take the ball up here and place it up on the board, it will stay right in its spot, not rolling up or down the board too much, further proving it is level. Now if anybody in here had any trouble walking up or down the board, please be careful when you get outside on some level ground.
<laughs> that being said, I'm going to need the same two volunteers I had at the very beginning that were about the same height. All I need them to do is stand on one end of the board and the other for me facing each other. Who do we all think seems to be a bit taller here? Uh, of course. <laughs> you guys can switch spots now. <laughs> Who's taller now? Yeah. He's taller now, right? Yep. Like I showed you guys with the ball and the level down there, this is a level surface, so we really should not be seeing a height change no matter where you two are standing along this board. Let's that get both so of them a big round so weird. All right. Now that is the end of the tour. Thank you guys all for coming along today. You guys can all follow that path right there, right back into that first door that leads into the gift shop. Have a great day, everybody. All right, done with the maze, I mean the mystery spot. Now I'm gonna go over here to the fort maze. As they say, it's just a maze. It only costs you two bucks to go into it. And he said, I can do it as many times as I want. He says, it's just a maze. So I figured I'd check that out. So here's that mini golf I was showing you. And you see the zip line over here. We are at the fort maze. See? There's a looks like an old fort. There are many trails. You must find the correct one. Can you solve it? Baffling, bewaring, confusing. Guard inside. Please purchase just check it. Oh, okay. Yeah. They tell me I just go in, do it as many times as I want. Probably don't get too many people to do this. Here we go. It says exit there. Enter here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this way. Let's see if we find our way. Okay. Come to a crossroad. Let's see which way, which way, let's go this way. Hope I don't get lost in here. There's another cut off. Mm, go this way. So, oh, oh, dead end. I caught a dead end. Oh, back the other way. See, back this way. On this way, I see. Here we go. Oh, another dead end. Back this way. Oh, somebody's wrote in there. ER plus uh, 1718. Let's see. Got two. Uh, let's go this way. Another dead end. <laughs> Here are people over there, the mini golf. Get in the hole! <laughs> okay, I guess down this way. Oh, another dead end. Why well, I keep finding dead ends? 
Am I ever going to get out of here? Here we go. Down this way. Okay, we're coming up to another cutoff. Straight. Or turn. Mm. Let's go straight. This is fun. It's probably more for the kids, but oh, well, oh, dead end. Running into another dead end. This is fun, though, you know. Back the other way. This is fun. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see. We another cut off. Turn there or turn here. I'm gonna turn. Probably making the wrong turn again. Oh, another cut off. Yeah. Which way do I go? Am I ever gonna get out of here? No. Spend my whole vacation in this maze. <laughs> Oh, dead end. Dead end. Back this way. Oh, Lord. I think I'm lost. <laughs> oh, back this way. Oh, man. Another cut off. That's a dead end. This way. I think there's other people in this maze now. But for two bucks, that ain't too bad, though. It's fun. I'll get out of here eventually. It's a pretty view, too. Look at it. You're in the woods. Uh oh, I think I found it. Exit! I found it! <laughs> I made it out. That was the Fort Maze right there. That was cool. It was just for two bucks. That's not bad at all. Go in there and have some fun. You know, running around in the woods. All right, fellow travelers, that's going to be about it for this trip to the mystery spot right here in St. Ignace, Michigan. It's awesome. It was great fun. There's lots of things to do here and here if you don't want to do the mystery spot. You know, there's the miniature golf out there, that maze that I did. That was cool. You know, there's a gift shop in there. You can do all that stuff. That maze was, or that uh, mystery spot, it was pretty cool. I would have done, volunteered, but I was holding my camera and stuff like that. Didn't really want to put it down because I don't know if my tripod would tip over or whatever like that. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out all our social media. Tell your friends. Tell your family about me. So I can keep growing my channel, traveling around, and showing you cool stuff like this. Until next time, my fellow travelers. I'll see you around the minute.